Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I'll be showing you today one of the most stable, battery friendly and customizable ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S8. This ROM actually works for the International S8 and for the S8 Plus as well. I have here a normal S8. The ROM is really fast. It's completely bloat free and it's very easy to install. What you need is a custom recovery installed. The latest TWRP is recommended. I've already installed it so I can reboot to recovery directly from here. I'll be showing you how to do it if you cannot do it like this. So simply press the key combination volume up, Bixby and power key. I have the latest 3.1.1-2 TWRP version. You have to download the ROM and place it somewhere on the internal memory. I placed mine in the download folder. Before installing, go to wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik, system, data and cache and then swipe to wipe. Beware not to erase the internal storage, otherwise the zip file will be deleted and you'll have to copy it once again. Afterwards, simply go to install, select the archive and swipe to confirm flash. The Aroma installer will now launch. Here you go, Ambassadi ROM. I've been using this ROM since the Galaxy S5 and it was great then and it's great now as well. Of course you can see the full changelog here. When asked to make a full wipe or not, I suggest you to make a full wipe, at least at the first install. Notorious kernel is probably the best one. You can obtain fantastic battery life and get great performance out of it. Update your firmware to the latest version, so bootloader, modem and recovery. I usually go with Magisk. It's the most recent one and it's much stable compared to SuperSU. Now choose your CSC region, you're free to choose whatever region you want. This ROM, as I have previously said, comes completely broad free. So if you want to choose a specific package, you're free to install it from here. But if you don't want to install another, you can simply go with a, let's say, clean installation. I've installed absolutely nothing from this list. Click next. Now a really interesting stuff is the dual speaker sound mod. I've enabled it and it makes a lot of a difference. So sound will be fired from both the bottom speaker and the earpiece here, which is completely fantastic and takes the device onto another level. Right now you can simply click install, the process won't take that long and afterwards you'll be asked to either restart the device or not, press no when you require that and go back to TWRP, you'll be brought to this menu, swipe to unlock, wipe cache and Dalvik, swipe to wipe and then reboot the system. First boot can take 10 to 15 minutes, so be patient. After the phone has booted up, you'll of course go through the setup wizard where you'll have to enter your Gmail account and so forth, just like you would with any new clean installation. And now here's the app drawer. All the apps after YouTube have been installed by me. All the other ones have been pre-installed. 
so you can see it's completely bloat free if we enter magisk manager you can see that magisk is installed faster gps was added and you can select your continent and your region so you can get a faster gps signal add away is pre-installed you can very easily download the files and apply ad blocking also a really interesting app is mtweaks which is way better than stweaks that i've seen so far on custom roms so in the first section here you can see the exact uptime of each core you can see how much the phone has been in deep sleep and so forth in device you have all the information about it and now we get to the good stuff so in cpu you can choose to disable some specific cpu cores you can choose to overclock the device the stock maximum frequency is 2.3 gigahertz but you can overclock it to 2.5 gigahertz the stock notorious setup comes underclocked to 2 gigahertz this is more than enough for daily tasks and for games as well you can alter the cpu governor for each of the clusters so for the little one and for the big one lmk you can definitely have some presets here or you can choose to manually alter these settings in weight lock control it is already optimized to the best battery friendly options what i really like about this software is that you have a build prop editor built in so you don't need to install anything else if you want to edit something i'd suggest you to research before altering any settings here and if you're not sure of something do ask at least in the comment section below and i'll try to give you the best answer spectrum this app is really fantastic it's way better than what samsung offers here you have four presets that you can choose from the balanced one it offers smooth performance and maintains a fantastic battery performance one of course tuned for performance if you want something even more you can go for the gaming preset this will definitely affect the battery life so you should be in this preset only when you want something specific and then you should revert to one of the three profiles above and of course the battery profile which underclocks the device and maintains the best battery life possible i've kept it on the balanced profile while performing the usual array of benchmarking so in anturu i obtained a score of almost 170,000, which is just a bit under the results from the database and in geekbench we have very good scores as well i'm not sure why geekbench still detects the device as having the snapdragon 835 i thought it was fixed in the last update but yeah this seems to be a problem of course do take these scores with a pinch of salt as the real life performance is not usually correlated to these scores the battery life is way way better than what you will get on a stock rom 
you're free to install any other apps that benefit from the root. The multitasking performance is way, way improved compared to what you could have got on the stock ROM. Overall, I can say that it's lightning fast. What I've noticed is that in developer options, the stock values were one for the animation scales and I've tuned them down to 0.5. Now it's way, way better, but it was a smooth experience beforehand as well. So this is only a matter of preference. The dual speaker is amazing as well. After using it for a while, I really don't know how can you go back to a stock room where you have only the bottom speaker activated. Overall, I think this is one of the best custom ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S8. You have a lot of customization offered by the Notorious kernel. You have a lot of customization in the app choice as well. So you can choose to either install some Samsung frameworks or not. And if you'd like